here uh, i want to explain the numerical method the euler's method to solve the differential equation here i have written this differential equation dy dt is equal to function of y of t so if you want to solve this differential equation we can either have uh, analytical methods or we can go for numerical methods this is how our computer calculates the solution for this differential equation using numerical methods so we will see how to implement the solution of this equation using euler's method on computer using python programming so that is how we will understand how the computer actually solves the differential equation using numerical methods so here this differential equation dy by dt is equal to function of y of t now to solve the solution of this equation we can consider that this dy by dt as function of y and t right that is what i have written here now actually this is nothing but the slope now we have solution like this t and y where y is dependent variable which is indicated on the y axis and t is the independent variable which is indicated on the x axis so as we know for each and every differential equation if you want to solve a particular solution we have the initial condition right suppose we have the initial condition called as t0 y0 now what this differential equation is saying to me is that on the ty plane i have the slope at point t0 y0 and that slope can be calculated by function of y and t so if i know this initial point i also know the slope of my function my solution curve at this point so in euler's method we take steps so this is my t not for next iteration of euler's method or the next step of euler's method we take some step size that is we add some small quantity to 2t not the small quantity often called as h depends on user's choice that we can choose any h for better resolution we choose smaller h so for this example i will consider h to be equal to 0.5 now if h is 0.5 t not is the my initial condition then what will be t1 t1 will be t not plus 0.5 so this is my step size so in general my tn will be is equal to sorry tn plus 1 will be equal to tn plus 0.5 so in each and every iteration we are adding 0.5 to my tn now at this initial condition i know the slope that is given by this differential equation f of y t so at this t not y not i have the slope that is slope is equal to function of y not t not so i know the slope at this point i know my next point that is t1 this is my t1 so i know on somewhere here i will get my next iteration solution that is y1 so if we complete this triangle this line and i know the slope at this say the slope is this function of t not y not then this is right angle triangle i know this step size to be h or 0.5 in this case i know this step size to be h i know this slope now what is slope slope is equal to this height upon this so slope will be equal to say this is delta the slope is equal to delta upon h hence that implies delta is equal to h times slope right so i got this delta now using that delta i can find y1 so y1 is equal to y not that is this initial value plus plus delta 
सो इन जनरल आई कैन रेड वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वाई एन प्लस एच दैट इज दिस स्टेप साइज फंक्शन टाइम्स फंक्शन ऑफ वाई एन टी सो इन दिस वे आई कैन कैलकुलेट एनी जनरल वाई एन एन प्लस वन सो फॉर हियर वाई एन टी एन सो इन दिस वे आई कैन कैलकुलेट द एनी जनरल वाई एन सो दैट इज द सोल्यूशन टू दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस वील टेक डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डी वाई बाय डी टी इज इक्वल टू वाई स्क्वेर माइनस टी तो फ्रॉम दिस वी हैव सपोज इनिशियल कंडीशन इज इक्वल टू टी नॉट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग वाई नॉट विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस वन दिस इज माई इनिशियल कंडीशन दिस इज माई इनिशियल कंडीशन नाउ आई नो दैट वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वाई एन प्लस एच एफ ऑफ वाई एन टी एन फ्रॉम दैट आई कैन राइट वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वाई एन प्लस एच इज वन बाई टू एफ ऑफ वाई एन टी एन वी कैन कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम हियर वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस टी सो दैट विल बी इज इक्वल टू वाई एन स्क्वेयर माइनस टी एन सो जनरल एक्सप्रेशन फ्रॉम वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वाई एन प्लस हाफ वाई एन स्क्वेयर माइनस हाफ टी एन सो माई वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू हाफ वाई एन स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई एन माइनस हाफ टी एन दिस इज माई जनरल रिलेशन फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड माई टी एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू टी एन प्लस हाफ दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सो यूजिंग दिस टू इक्वेशन I can form the iteration loops and I can solve this differential equation. Now we'll turn to the computer in to program this algorithm in Python and to see how does it work. Here, uh, to implement our differential equation, I have used uh, Ubuntu operating system and Python libraries and Python programming language. so here uh, i have already written a code uh, i just want to explain that code right now so that we can see the results on our terminal uh, of our each and every iteration so let me change the directory where i have saved my file so this is the code uh, this is the actually the python code in which we are going to implement our different solution of our differential equation using euler's method so i am using math library uh, just for uh, exponential exponential uh, function use here and this is the basic standard python syntax i am using to write this code here this is the initial condition declaration y initial which is minus 1 in this example t initial this is also minus 1 in this example now i am just assigning uh, t t initial value and y y initial value so t and y are my variables to store the solution of differential equation so here i am using a uh, counter uh, to count the number of iterations so this is just a uh, print statement to get more preferable user interface this is our differential equation that we are going to solve dy by dt is equal to y square minus t now here i am setting a loop that is uh, when count is less than 20 this loop is going to execute again and again that is what we are taking uh, approximately uh, 20 iterations and in each iteration we are going to calculate the solution of this differential equation that is y and t now as we have seen we are taking step step size as a 0.5 so here we can see the step size so in this first statement we are actually implementing the general 
uh, equation that we got after solving the differential equation and applying Euler's method. So I am just writing this general equation with this uh, initial condition that we have defined. So this line actually calculates the uh, n plus one so value of this y and this line calculate the n plus one value of t. So this is just count statement to increase the count and to check for number of iterations and here in each and every loop what is going to happen we have initialized y initial and t initial to minus and minus one in each and every loop this y is being calculated separately t is being calculated and using this print statements this y and t that is solution for this differential equation using Euler's method is being calculated so in first iteration it will use value minus one minus one that is y and t and it will calculate y and t separately in next iteration the value of y and t is modified with the pre uh, with the help of free previous value that is it's calculating its next iteration and so in this way this program will run for 20 iterations and it will display the results of 20 iteration in this program we have not written code to plot the solution but if we in decrease this tape size to very small value it's possible to plot the graph which is approximate solution for this differential equation using Euler's method to calculate the more accurate solution we have to go for higher order numerical methods that is Ranga Kutta method and other different kinds of method so but Euler's method is the basic and uh, easy to understand numerical solution method. So let us save and let us run this code. Here we go. Here we can see the number of iteration that computers is performing. The result of first iteration is y is equal to 0, t is equal to minus 0 0.5. Second iteration y is equal to 0 0.25, t is equal to 0. So obviously when t is equal to minus 0 0.5 my step size is 0 0.5 so t is equal to 0 0.0 and then t is equal to 0 0.5 0 1.0 and so on and corresponding y values are being calculated as per our uh, general formula that we have already uh, typed in in the python code so this python script is actually solving this differential equation it's generating solution that is y and t for this differential equation and this loop continues for 20 values and we can calculate 20 value first 20 values of this iteration if we want to plot the graph we can increase the count and we can decrease the step size and we can plot using python standard libraries maybe pylab or something else and we can verify the first approximated numerical solution for the differential equation